A new federal rule for foster parents aimed at supporting LGBTQ plus youth is causing controversy. I'm with Janae Bowens from the Fact Check team, and let's start with what does this rule say, Janae? Yeah, Didi, so I have it pulled up right there. So by October 2026, agencies must, quote, ensure a designated placement is available for all children who identify as LGBTQI plus. What are the requirements for a designated placement? Yeah, so there are three. Okay. So one is commit to establishing an environment that supports the child child's LGBTQI plus status or identity. They must be trained to provide the needs related to that. And lastly, they must facilitate the child's access to age or developmentally appropriate resources, services, and activities that support their health and well-being. 30% of kids in foster care identify as LGBTQ+. Does yeah. every foster parent have to be designated a designated placement? No, So, and you can see it here. It okay. says the final rule does not require any provider to become a designated placement, and a state can't penalize a provider that doesn't want to. But there is concern that some providers won't be able to foster. DD, the government estimates in 2027, 15% of foster children will need a designated placement. All right, Janae, thank you for that breakdown. In some states, they have already implemented some similar measures. In just a few minutes, Emma will join us to discuss.